he's not drinking. He's drinking iced tea. Anyway, Gary grabbed these uh, chicken nuggets the other day and the kids really like them, so. I'm gonna be making chili today in my crock pot. You're gonna need like a pound, a pound and a half of hamburger. That's what you're gonna need. I'm using two of the original, the, the traditional ragu, because I didn't have one big one. Gary usually puts two packets of chili seasoning in his. I only have one, so that's what I'm using. And then we usually use dark, dark red kidney beans and light red kidney beans, but I only have one can of the dark and a can of small red beans. So I'm assuming these are like the same. So that's what I'm using. And I'm gonna cook my hamburger and put everything into the crock pot. And I'm just gonna let this on load. Uh, Carrie's football team plays today. So, and they don't play until later. So this is just gonna be kinda hanging out here all day. Um, but that's that's it guys, that's simple and easy. I'll add some cheese or whatever. I usually add cheese and eat with crackers sometimes. Just depends on what you like. Uh, but I'll be back to show you when it's finished. There's the chili. My chili. In my bowl with my shredded cheese, and so these are the these are the Pillsbury uh, cornbread. I flattened them out, put them in our tray thing um, to bake, but I tried one already, and they are so good. It's not too I don't do spicy chili or anything like that. I just do more of a bland chili. But Hi, you know, guys. Guys, that's it. There you have it. Here we are again, guys. I think we're getting one to three inches today um and they are calling for 12 to 18 inches on wednesday so winter has begun here in pa <laughs> vlogmas day 14. hello guys good morning welcome to vlogmas you might notice that i'm in a different car <laughs> so i am actually in my old car which is now my mom's one of my mom's vehicles um, I remember why I hate this car so much now. Anyway, uh, so we, I, I borrowed the car from my mom because I cannot safely fit both of my girls' car seats in my husband's pickup truck, nor do I want to drive his pickup truck. I feel more comfortable driving this car. My SUV is actually going to be serviced today. It needed an oil change, so that's where we're going. We are headed to a local dealership to drop off. And there's ice on the road, guys. You'll see in this video prior to me talking here that we actually, um, oh my God, I wasn't filming that entire time. Where's the service center? No. So, hello guys. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 15. I filmed like 10 minutes worth of a video and I was not recording. Anyway, uh, so I'm currently waiting outside for Carrie. Um, I did want to pop one and let you guys know this is every time we're in the car. So th that leads to something I was talking about, which was I originally said in a video I was going to do Knobles. That's an hour drive and an hour drive home. My cousin had went to the light extravaganza there she waited in line for three hours to uh try to get in so i don't know about you guys or how your kids do in the car but these two will not make it three hours in a, in a line of traffic sitting at a standstill so we're gonna in local places we actually have uh, a home over across the highway from us that was actually featured on the great light fight so we might check that out. I'm not exactly entirely sure exactly where it's at, but I do know they have a Facebook page and stuff like that. So there's that. Um, you guys, listen, we had some snow yesterday, which I'll, I did video a little. Um, Brianni, you cannot get out of your car seat right now. But um, so, uh, 
So we had some snow yesterday, but guys, listen. But guys, listen, we are in for a storm. And when I say a storm, we're getting like 12 to 18 inches. That's what they're forecasting. So you guys might be lucky enough to see a pretty hefty snowstorm. Um, you're gonna have you're gonna have to move that seat back. What were you? What were you? What, what, what were you pointing at? Equinox. Can I go? Yeah. Go that red one. Right. Right. Where am I going? I don't think you're allowed. You can go right out the street back there. Where? Right back. Oh really? Okay. Anyway, guys. So like I was saying, we are. Um, we are in for a pretty big snowstorm tomorrow. So <laughs> if you've never seen snow before, you're gonna get a taste of that. Um, but yeah, we are uh, preparing for that crap. And uh, luckily Carrie doesn't have to, uh, you know, uh, fight the crowds because he already went to the uh, store, stocked up on our bread, milk and eggs. If you're from the Northeast, then you know what that is like, right? You go when there's a big snowstorm coming. You go early. Everybody and their mother buys out all the bread, milk, and eggs. Why is that? Why do people do that? Because if you need to survive off of food, you know, those are staples. What the f you make? French toast? Yeah, whatever. You can eat, make a lot of food out of that stuff. Well, I would not be stocking up on that. I'd be stocking up on my... Pancake mix? You get... Yeah, but nobody buys a pancake mix all out. Yeah, they do. They really? Oh my god. Anyway, so guys, I just wanted to pop in you here. Go get your stuff so that way if you're stuck, stuck or power goes down or whatever, yeah. you have your food. Well, if if our power goes out, we aren't making eggs. We have an electric stove. I mean, we have a wood stove downstairs. We could always resort to put cooking on that. But... You can grill outside. You're going to go out in like two feet in snow. If, you're, if you need to cook hot food. I guess so, right? I guess, right? Electric stoves out or whatever, depending on what you have. Some people have gas. Yeah. Anyway. I'd rather have gas. Yeah, so would I. But, I uh, do. anyway. I smell it at night when you sleep. You're an idiot. Um, anyway, that's what we're doing. We dropped off the truck. How long until it's done? They said the phone. Oh, yeah. Are they calling your phone that it doesn't go through on? They fixed it, they said. I had to get some kind of direct line to uh, call you. No, to repair for when they call customers, so they don't come up to spam. So I guess Carrie, our truck was in getting an estimate a few weeks ago, and they must have been calling Carrie all day long, and it must have been a, they, his phone thought it was a spam call, so it wasn't taking the number. Um, but anyway, yeah, we just dropped the truck off. We have to we have to go back and pick that up later today. So I borrowed the car from my mom. So yeah. I will talk to you guys a little bit later when I get home. So I am in the girls' room. Currently holding some laundry, uh, watching Tooth Fairy 2. Aaliyah's up in her bunk. I have all the toys over here with me. I actually just went through a box of Aaliyah's clothing that she had and found like a bunch of her like 2T stuff because it wasn't long ago that she was in it, but I found like this and this is 18 to 24 months from Children's Place. This is like a fleece. So I grabbed that and brought all this stuff out. So anyway, so anyway. I started to do some wrapping today. Oh, you know what? They're downstairs. Guys, look at these. Tell me how cute these are. Okay. All right, guys. So you can see Aaliyah's outfit, right? Show them. Okay. She has this one as well, but it's downstairs. I just washed it. But this is actually... But at Sam's Club, they sell like the these PJ outfits. As I was trying to say, Aaliyah has... Aaliyah has this outfit on. It's actually on a doll that's in my truck right now. And we did not pick my truck up yet. <laughs> the doll has that on um, in the truck. But these are a little tiny big for her because they are in big girl sizes. But they do come with your eight standard 18-inch baby doll, the Journey Girls or American Girl dolls. But they also fit a wide variety of other dolls. But I thought I'd share that. They did have these at Sam's Club. My mom grabbed, I think, two of them for her at the time. I think there was one more pair. Hey, you guys. I'm still in, I'm still in my mom's car. I just took Carrie to get 
our SUV. Um, it's a little, I don't know if it's like three o'clock right after. But listen, I told you the other day, I was gonna try, the, I wanted to try the sugar plum macchiato, right? Well, I'm scared because, <laughs> listen, I asked the lady, I was like, I never had one of these before. Do they get cream and sugar in them or what? She said, people usually get milk. I was like, all right, well then put milk. She's like, do you want whipped cream? I was like, why not? If I'm gonna go all in, I'll go all in, but I'm scared to drink this now. Cause look, it's like, you know, the colors. Hold on. Like it doesn't mix, it doesn't like mix. I should have got sugar in it. Look, it's purple on the bottom. It's not bad, but it's strong. It's a weird taste. I definitely should have got sugar. The coffee taste is very strong, but like the, it's almost like a blueberry taste. I want to say that is strange. I don't know. Um, I think if I would have got sugar in it, I might actually go home and add some sugar in it. If you guys have a Dunkin' near you, uh, I just got the iced sugar plum macchiato. I got a large and I got whipped cream on mine. You don't have to put the whipped cream, but I don't know. That's such a different taste. It's some kind of berry flavor. It's not like strawberry. I want to say blueberry. That's what it reminds me of. I've never had like blueberry iced coffee or anything. I know a lot of people do drink stuff like that, but I've never had that. So I don't know, but I figured I'd give you my take on the uh, sugar plum macchiato drink from Duncan. I did get mine iced. Um, it's a different taste. Uh, it's not bad. I wish I would add sugar, but I'm going to end out this vlog um, because I don't know what exactly we're doing later. Uh, I know I need to go home and cook dinner. Um, I'm not positive what we're actually doing tonight. Um, I do. If we decide to decorate the tree, I'll make a video and put that separately. Um, I also have a Christmas tag uh, that I'm gonna film. I'm not sure if I'll do that later tonight or not, but I'm gonna do that in a separate video. But I did just wanna do like vlog style because listen, I picking up the camera and actually vlogging is not something that I'm super great at. Last year I did it a lot where I would just pick up and randomly just start talking to you guys. Um, I don't know, things are a little more chaotic around my house right now. Um, as I'm sure anybody who has kids doing virtual um, school knows that. But Aliyah's requesting to go for a drive. So we're gonna go for a drive and then head home. But I just wanted to pop on here and end out de uh, Vlogmas day uh, 14 and 15. Hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, you'll get to see some snow tomorrow. I'm pretty positive we're gonna get snow.